Hi class, how are you guys? This is week four um, instructional video. Um, I'm going to send out a survey uh, the coming up week to ask you guys, do you think the video help? Um, if not, then maybe we can plan on something else, okay? So this is first thing that I want to talk about. Second things, I met with my department, so we have uh, like department meeting every week that, uh, to talk about um, planning, to talk about what we can do to motivate students, like all kind of stuff. So uh, what we talk, what we talk, uh, what we did is like last week we talk about um, by the end of the school year, probably we are going to host a um, senior art show and also other grade level art shows. So um, the purpose for this is for all of the senior, if you have any artwork that you want to submit to the art show, it will be virtual um, art show. That means we will post your work online, the picture of your work, and then we are gonna sell your work. Um, so uh, it's up to you if you want to showcase your work but not selling that, maybe you can mark that, um, then we will uh, let the, the, um, the people know. Um, that you're not sell selling that you just want to show your artwork um, but the good thing is like for selling your work you can make some money for your college or for your um, like your plan okay your like after high school plan um, so for other grade level same thing you can sh sell your work but we need to come up with the date um, but it will be separate from the seniors, okay? So for other grade level, we are gonna to plan to sell your artwork. Um, hopefully th this will motivate you to um, turn in some good artwork, even though like for, I, I would say for some of you, your work turned out really well. Um, so I want you to really um, uh, spending your time to work on that. And then it's good to let the community, let the school, like let the school, um, let other people know uh, what you're doing and then like how um, like you represent yourself as a, an artist. So uh, for other grade level, you can sell your artwork as well. Okay. Um, so we are planning on that and I will give you um, more information later. Um, and then the third thing is check-in. So if you miss the check-in week, um, then make sure that you don't need to go back and then check in, okay? It's because there is no point for it. Um, I will talk about that while I open the, um, the Google Classroom, okay? So let's go to the Google Classroom right now, okay? So same thing, go to your Google Classroom, okay? Go to your class. So let's talk about check-in. So when you go to class work, you will see check-in uh, folder. Okay, so I create check-in for two weeks um, since April 20th, okay? And then uh, same thing for last week. So you can see if you miss um, this two weeks, okay, because I'm gonna put, uh, put up an, a new one for uh, this week, right? So if you are, uh, you missed that, you didn't even check in with me um, from April 20th, and uh, to April 24th, you look at the date, it's already past those days, you don't need to go back and check in with me, okay? Because um, like I want to make sure that week you're okay, so there's no point for you to go back and then check in, okay? So if you miss the week, just forget it, and then just check in with me the, the week, like, so that means for this week, you are gonna check in with me from um, May 4th to May 8th, okay? And uh, because I record this ahead of the time, um, I don't have it over here. The bad thing for Google Classroom is I don't even know how can I schedule the time to post it. Once I post it, then people will uh, can react on the post. So I don't want to create this ahead, okay? So um, that's why I'm gonna hold on to that until uh, Monday because I record it Friday, okay? Usually I record it the Friday um, uh, the, the week, like the Friday ahead. Um, so that, that's why I don't, I don't want to post it yet. So make sure you don't check in the previous time. Okay. If you miss those days, forget it. And then just make sure you are in the right week. Um, so next is we are going to talk about the assignment for this week. Okay. So same thing, go to your remote learning pack, packet and then go to uh, case uh, the, the document. 
Um, I'm going to update this, but um, like, uh, so go to here, click here. Okay. And then we'll talk about this, the update schedule. So uh, I told you guys last week that I'm going to give you guys more time for the elements and principles scavenger hunt, okay? So hopefully you guys, I already finished it. If Again, if you need more time, please let me know. Um, then we can uh, work on that. So don't worry about like turning in late. If you really turn in late, just make sure you communicate with me, okay? So for week four, we are going to draw, uh, do drawing practice and uh, portrait, okay? Um, and then uh, we are going to talk about the information. So we are going to go over here, table of contents, same thing, click on this, and then it will directly to the page. So it will be from week four to seven. It's a four week long uh, drawing assignment, okay? Four week long. Um, so the reason for this is um, why it's four week, I don't want to say first, I don't want to overwhelm you because it requires a lot of practice. And then I heard a lot of students from, uh, from the surveys mentioned that you want to practice more on drawing, okay? So um, this is a very good chance um, to do this. And then uh, you are going to draw some things that you are familiar with, which is um, someone's around you or you can draw your draw yourself okay so um week one, uh, four you are going to so mean that means this week you're going to practice um eyes drawing and then next week you will do nose mouth and ear week six you are going to make your portrait or you can do any portrait that is someone's it can be some, anyone's around you or a famous person okay anyone um, and then uh, week seven, you will finish your portrait. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about week four. I mean, I'm not going to talk about week five to seven. I will just focus on week four um, today. Okay, so material that you need is pencil, sketchbook, or, and paper. Okay, ruler as well. Um, if you don't have ruler at home, you can use pencil to do measurement. Um, I can show you uh, how to do this. So for example, your pencil is like this. When you hold it up, like for example, you're looking at the mirror right now. So because I'm recording, I can see my own face, right? So you can use this, hold it like that, okay? Straight to you and then close one of your eyes, okay? And then look at your mirror. Like for example, right here, I'm looking at myself. So my nose is right here to this point. I use my thumb to hold my the area that I see, okay? So that means from my forehead, so my top part of my head, okay? So from my top part of my head to my bottom part, this part of my nose, when I look at the mirror right now, is about this much. So when you draw on the paper, you can use this much as your measurement, okay? So of course, this is only from here to here, okay? And then uh, in the guideline, in the, um, in the guideline, it showed you the whole process, how to measure, what is the steps. Of course, you should draw your entire head first before you draw this part, okay? So this is one another way that you can do if you don't have ruler at home, you can use your pencil for measurement, okay? If you don't have pencil, you can use pen. Um, uh, paper, you can use your sketchbook. If you didn't bring your sketchbook home, same thing. Any paper that you can find at home of not of course, not those tiny paper, at least like I will say um, about half page size, okay? That will be big enough for you to um, draw. So description, drawing practice can help you improve your drawing skills, okay? And in this assignment, we are going to learn how we can get better um, on drawing face, faces. Um, I don't want to overwhelm you, so I divide it up into uh, four weeks. Um, assignments okay so by the end of this week you are going to turn in a drawing of an eyes okay practice so uh, let's go to page 10 okay so you scroll down to page 10 so this is the page so you can see that um, eyes drawing practice step one you choose uh, one of the step over here okay a tutorial 
that you like from the following and practice it in your sketchbook. So you practice this first. You practice not looking at your eye yet, okay? Just practice how to make um, the shape of the eyes, okay? And then um, you can, after this practice, you feel like, oh, okay, so this part is the eyelid, this part is the purple, this part is the um, uh, eyeball. Um, and then also there has many different shape of eyes, okay? So if you feel like those um, drawing tutorial is not really helping you, you can also search it online. Okay, um, and different, peop uh, different uh, people have different size of eyes. Like uh, myself, my eyes is not too big. And one thing is I want you guys to pay attention. A lot of people, a lot of students, they will kind of like draw from their imagination. They thought they look like, a, they always make their eyes double or triple bigger than the eyes that they really have. Okay, so make sure that you are not drawing anime. Okay, you are drawing you, you as a real human being. Okay, so don't make your eyes wide, way too big or um, the eyelashes is like way too long. Okay, so make sure that you are drawing in the right place and then um, in the right size. After the practice, um, if you feel like um, the, this is not really helping, I also have the video over here, okay? So you, there has two link that you can click on um, to help you uh, practice eye drawing, okay? This is, so you can, you can see the, the label over here, it said that this re video is longer, okay? And then this one is shorter. So it's up to you. You can look at both and choose which one can, uh, like it's helped you, uh, helped you most, okay? Um, and then after you did the tutorial, you practice, you feel like, oh, I'm ready to make uh, eyes. So by the end of your drawing, I want you to turn in both eyes. It's your eyes, the character that you're planning to draw, okay, the portrait that you're planning to draw. For me, like for example, I'm planning to draw myself, so what I will do is I will make my um, eyes, okay, I will just focus on my eyes in the practice, um, the final practice drawing when I, like, when I submit that. So step two, follow the tutorial steps to make your drawing, right? We just talked about that. And then step three is add value to your drawing to make it look realistic. So you can see that shading over here, some part of it look darker, some of the part look lighter to make highlight, okay? So work on value, and then you are going to take a picture of your drawing and then submit that to Google Classroom, okay? So basically that's it for uh, this week. Um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Again, I will put up a survey to ask you, do you think the instructional video help? Or any suggestion for me, like maybe um, it's not you need to add more of teacher sample. You can, you need to show us how we need, how to do a step-by-step visually, okay? So if you think that will help you more, if I hear um, more suggestion, because right now, I don't know, um, like, you know, this is new to all of us. Um, usually when we are in class, I can um, show you uh, like things more visually. I can really do the demonstration in front of you, but um, being honest, recording really take up time, okay? I always sit in front of my computer several hours, sorry, um, like several hours to record um, video for all of my, instructional video for all of my classes. So if you really will look at it, uh, you want me to do demonstration video for you, um, then I will do it. Um, if I hear more uh, students' suggestion. Um, that please do that, um, or maybe only for specific lessons that you think we need the um, instruction, uh, like like demonstration video. Then I will do that. Okay. So please let me know if you have any questions. Send me email and make sure you check in with me. Very important. Check in with me in like make sure you check in in a white week. Okay. Don't go back and check in like two weeks ago. Okay. So um, that's it. Have a great um, week. Okay, um, if you have any things that you want to share with me, please go ahead, share with me. Um, and then have a good um, week again.